Hello, welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortune. Sorry about that. I'm off in my own little world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Natalie, an empath and intuitive card reader and visionary as well. I'm here this evening to do the general weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius for the week of June the 19th through to the 25th, 2017. Just getting your smudge up here. <clears throat> Good thing you're going to be my last reading for tonight. I'm losing my voice. This happened last night, too. Need to get this smudge to go. Here's my feather. Oh, the smell is amazing. Thank you so much. Nope, it's going to be stubborn. One moment, guys. Ah, come on now, you burn, baby, burn. This next one's for you guys. Ouch. It's a little close to home. There is enough. All right. I'm stubborn. Then it seems like when I get it going, it won't go out. <laughs> it smells great, though. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. There. All right, Aquarius. Here we go. I'm going to push you guys back just a tiny little bit. I've already pre-shuffled the cards, but I'll give them one more little go here. Way back. There we go. Please bring forward. She's smoking good now. And that's what I like to see. Ooh, that was a quick one. We're all ready to go. Your Monday. Lovely. Good. Keep it keep it up. I'll piss off. Ugh. Yo yo. Up and down. Wednesday, good. Thursday, good. <laughs> oh, ooh. Friday. Oh, Saturday. And Sunday, yes. All right, there we go. Just making sure. Double checking. Okay, first card that showed up for you on your Monday on the 19th is the star, and she represents hope. And here we go. There you go. She represents hope. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. If we don't have hope, somebody once said that hope is, is a cop-out eternal optimism and all that stuff is a cop out. I don't believe that at all. I think it was Jim Carrey, the actor that said that once. I forget how he worded it. So hey Jim, you can correct me if you're watching this video. <laughs> Go ahead, take me on. I dashed you. <laughs> Anyways, he did say something to that effect. Um, denial, excuse for not taking 
um, actions on your own, but relying on just pure hope. But I believe that if you don't have any hope, boys, oh boys, that's what makes people walk off the edge of the planet, if you know what I mean. If they have any hope left, that's a terrible way to be. But this card is here to tell you on your Monday, you're going to have reason for hope. What a way to start a week off with. Um, the, the card is here to acknowledge to you first and foremost, Aquarius, that you've worked through the heartache, you've worked through conflict, and you've learned some very rich life lessons recently. These are for, from hard times. And um, you're now feeling hope, and you're placing more trust in the universe that it will protect you and it will guide you to much happier times that are soon to be upon you. This card reveals a lot of growth through the healing of the past. So if you're healing from the past, and it does come to be, there's going to be a lot of growth that takes place and stems from that. Um, there will be freedom from old patterns. All patterns are going to die off. Old habits, people's ways around you, people's habits um, that, that are part of your life, that impede your everyday life. Somebody else's uh, energies overlap into yours. Yeah, this kind of thing going on, that's all going to come to a stop. Um, it's going to change. You're going to have much ha much happier times. <sighs> um, this card also reveals um, um, a very more whole and fulfilled future that's about to, to come upon you as well. You're on the right path. The card is here to tell you that a sure, this card is a sure sign. Everything's going to be just fine. It's going to work out for you. The advice of the card is to follow your heart um, and respond to your inner knowing. Listen to your intuition and, and, and let that be your guide and let that lead you when you're not sure where you're going and, and, and how to get there. Rely on your intuition. It'll never steer you wrong. Trust the universe. It's going to bring you what you need, but you need it. Um, the keywords are creativity and dreams, um, your intuition, healing, spiritual path, rebirth, and wishes as well are going to come to pass for you. But a great way to start your week off. Your next card, not so great, but we can make it great. Yes, we can. It's all in our perception and how we perceive things and how we see things. This is the Ten of Swords, and I don't like this card normally, but I don't feel it's altogether all that bad. It represents endings, and some endings are really good. Some endings are wonderful things. Endings are bad things. But this is the final card in tarot. This is the summing up and the tying up um, of, of, of all things that need to be ended and, and completed. This usually involves a certain degree of drama as well. For some, it could be breakups, fights, arguments that lead to breakups, that lead to endings. But you know what? For some of you, that's going to be a good thing. Okay? Not a bad thing at all. Will it be easy? Never is. But you know what? Anything worthwhile is worth working for. It's worth persevering for and pushing ahead. Um, and allowing the fate in the future, your future, your destiny, and karma to come in and take a little dance and take the spotlight for a little bit sometimes too. Um, <clears throat> for some of you, there'd be shock and a sense of relief. Um, bittersweet moments again, I keep getting that for you, Aquarius. Um, a sense that they're going to hear something or something's going to happen, but, but something is going to go down. And some of you are going to have a sense of shock. There's no way of getting around that. You can't escape it. But with that can come a sense of relief because you're seeing the reality of a situation there's no more plotting through. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. That kind of thing. That energy. Lump, lump, lump. Nothing's moving. Same old, same old, same old bullcrap. Same old stuff. Same old, same old. It never changed. Um, how long can this go on? You know, kind of thing. It is... Um, be re some somebody's going to be faced with reality and that plotting is going to come to a complete halt and all the BS is going to finally be over. Reality is going to be sinking in big time for some of you. That's where the shock's going to really stir things up. Um, just the reality of a situation for some, realizing it can't grow. It's not growing. <coughs> Excuse me. It cannot grow. It shows the truth and it helps you see what does need to be released. You never really knew like you knew. There was a sense that you knew. Something needed to end. Something needed to come to a completion. Something had to play itself out. Run its course. Um, 
And now you're going to see what that something is. And you're going to know exactly what needs to be done. This is a good thing. This is not bad at all. Your device, the advice of the card is to walk away and let go. Focus on your present. Let go of the past. Follow your heart. Follow your nose into your future. Good changes coming up. You may feel unsettled. You may feel some fear of the unknown. But you need to plot ahead in a different way. With a, with a, with a bit of a pep in your step this time around. Um, because there's a new future coming for some of you, at least new changes, which you feel is a brand new future and a brand new day. Your keywords are completion, release, drama, transformation, truth, a little bit of victimhood going on there, and shock. On your Wednesday is the King of Wands, and he's all about practical, practicality. He's the King of Practicality. He's also a man of action, an inspiring leader, a very dynamic personality personality. He's extremely self-motivated as well and he's always open-minded, open to changes and new ideas and fresh approach, these kind of things. I just heard turning something over, flipping it to the other side. I don't know what that means. Flipping, changing sides, crossing the floor to the other side. Whatever that means for somebody, that's what I just heard. This man is self-motivated. As I said, he's easy to read. His feelings always show. Sometimes this is the you card in the reading, Aquarius. So you may recognize yourself as being dynamic and inspiring leader, uh, being self-motivated and open-minded and, and very readable emotionally as a person. People can read you quite well. You don't pull any punches. You don't beat around the bush. People know when they look at you exactly where you're coming from. Yes, they do. Um, you're highly intelligent, but you have compassion for those that maybe are not your equal as far as intellect goes. So you need to reach down or reach across, reach over to help pull people in. Do your part, as they say. Um, this person is connected to many people with many different backgrounds, very, very different from his own as well. It's very worldly. Um, It's connected to a lot of uh, a lot of people. The card is here to tell you if you identify this as the you card, as you, Aquarius, that you need to find practical solutions to your problems on this day. Um, don't go overboard. Don't climb over a hill. Don't don't jump the hill. Is what I heard. Um, just take them on. Remain practical. Remain logical. Also see to your network of friends and professional contacts and, and continue to grow those. You will be needing them as much as they need you. Um, the advice of the card to explore your passions and to look to unconventional people or go to new places to maybe find the answers that you're seeking to these practical situations. Um, I'm hearing, start to live again. Allow yourself to feel the passion. Let your passions come forward. Let yourself become excited about new places and new things. Deep interest. It'll be st very, very strongly stimulating for you to do this. You're going to be stimulated. This is going to give you the joie, joie de vivre for life. The, the key words for this card are energy, creativity, power, wisdom, passion, and freedom, and openness open to all new things you've tried the same old same old now you're ready to try something new or take a new path or a new venture so on your thursday you received the four of wands and this card is all about reward for somebody out there all right um you're reaching um your goals some of you may be finding a brand new home some of you will be finishing up some contract work or completing a job passing a test on this day as well. It's time for rewards. Um, there'll be love, will be highlighted, trips away, planning for trips, planning for holidays, starting the trips and starting the holidays on this day as well. Um, for some, this card, this four, brings leisure, luxury, fun, and a sense of freedom. And some of you will be going off on trips to someplace warmer maybe, coming back all tanned and ready for summer and looking just beautiful and all that good stuff. 
So some of you um, are planning or actually beginning your your time of leisure, fun and freedom. Also, also it's time to get in touch with your inner child. This was this is a spot and a place in your day where you know you feel the freedom and the openness to say Yahoo! I can do whatever I want. I feel like a kid again. Um, you'll be celebrating the joys of life once uh, finding contentment within yourself. And you'll feel the closeness of your spirit guides as well. You're going to know that there's something up there going on. Um, this is this is a, a very, very, very happy time. A happy, happy day. On a hump day of all days of the week. The advice is to be carefree while you can. Make sure and replenish your mind, your body, your soul. You are deserving of this. Your keywords are balance, love, new home for some, comfort, uh, contentment, freedom, openness, and travel. Okay, so on your Friday... We've got the world, and what a way to have a Friday. It's all about regeneration. This is this card brings about re regeneration and renewal and finding success and celebrating achievements and reward may be coming your way, and these are for all your efforts and all your hard work that you've put in, Aquarius. The card shows completion of a phase. Also shows meeting targets, meeting goals, finalizing um, projects. This could be a house move for somebody. You've signed on the dotted line on this day. But on this Friday, a lot of you are going to be packing boxes and moving and loading trucks and loading them back into cars. And it's a big move going on. Excuse me. Uh, allergies or something. Um. This is a rela uh, relationship landmark day as well. This Friday, you'll be celebrating for some of you anniversaries or renewing of vows. Even to that extent, renewing of vows. Opportunities to travel now are coming your way or doors are open. I'm feeling like, wow, I wasn't planning on going anywhere. But you know what? I just found out I've got a whole week ahead of me and my bank's got a little bit of money. And I'm, like, I'm out of here for a week. Um, this is great because it's last minute. You're very excited about that. Usually last minute things can work out to be just awesome. And that's what you're aiming for and hoping for on this day. Um, if you're single and you do travel, you'll have some romantic adventures on the, on, on the way while there, while this is all going on. Have fun. Uh, the advice of the cards, celebrate what you've achieved, embrace any opportunities. You'll be full of energy and motivation. The world is going to feel, you're going to feel like you're on top of the world, like the world is your oyster. You can have anything you want. You can make anything happen. What a great outlook to have and it's a great state of mind to be in. It's absolutely fantastic. You're feeling the heat off the card here. For some of you, this is it, this is really, really, really good. Your um, keywords are success and completion, celebration, beginnings, travel, motivation, and just an all over sense of renewal um, for you. Now, Saturday, what the heck are some of you up to on Saturday? What is going on with this showing up after such a good reading? All the cards have been pretty good. But what's up with this? This is the cards. The common meaning is card of this card is, is of affairs, affairs of the heart. Um, it also represents addictions. And in this case, I'm seeing addictions to people. No. I had this. In a previous reading, and there were some of the people, and I'm going to say this for you guys too, because it extends, and it, it's, this card has a long reach this week. Um, it, it's falling into a, a, some of the readings. And it is addictions to people is the strongest thing. And people are so deeply in love, but to a level where they have no right to be there yet, no business being there yet. You've become addicted to somebody else. It's not a good thing. And I talked about um, in the other readings, the honeymoon period and how some people are addicted to love itself. Just that, that whole idea of being in love. Yes, when you fall in love. When you fall head over heels in love. Let's acknowledge that. That really falling when you're in love. In love. And falling into that. They don't call it falling for, for no reason at all. Because that's just how it feels. A lot of times people fall in love. They weren't looking for it. They didn't make it happen. <coughs> they just kind of found themselves there. Like they fell into it. <coughs> Excuse me. And what is falling in love? Well, <coughs> science will tell you when that happens. Oh dear, hold on. 
Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to nip this in the bud with a little bit of water. Just a minute. Very sorry about that. It's not very professional, is it? Anyways, um, falling in love. The chemical releases all these endorphins and all these hormones. And for some of us, we can hear the hormones popping across the other side of the room. Um, being in love, that passion becomes, obs it's like obsession. Because all we can do is think about the other person constantly. And we yearn and we ache for that next fix the, very much the way a drug addict would that's in love with the drug that they're addicted to. It's, it's, it, it is, there's not a whole lot of difference there. Some of you are jumping the gun, I'm hearing, and speeding ahead into a place that you shouldn't be yet. Um, this could create some problems all the way around. Um but some people, once that honeymoon period ends, and I don't mean marriage, but the period where you're in love, in that that state, in that elevated um, emotional realm that's mental and, and it's physical, intellect and common sense have no no place in 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 that context. They just have no place within that energy. So we don't think straight. We do stupid things. We do silly things. But it's the high we get off of when the chemistry feels like it's right. And we just want more and more and more of it. And more isn't always good. Sometimes it's bad. It's not healthy for you. Especially if it's not a mutual thing between you and the object of your adoration. Um... And some of you have to pull back and, and thing is, is you're going to mess it up before you can save it. Because just for the fact that you know you have to back up the other person, the object of your affections may be pulling back, feeling a little bit afraid of the intensity. And you know what? Maybe they'll catch up down the road, but maybe they won't. You might scare them off. Therefore, if you don't rein it in, that's what happens. But this card shows up too for some of you that are feeling locked down and trapped by a job. Some of you are trapped by addiction. Some of you are trapped by relationships as well. It depends who you are. This is a general reading for you. Um, something or someone may have a certain amount of control over you. You may have an employer um, that you're working for. And this employer is underhanded. And they will use the fact that you need this job against you and hold it over your head it gives them full control so there 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 could be that going on as well um some of you are feeling as i started to say a few minutes ago an attraction over someone or something that is no good for you they're not for you it is not for you get thyself out of that mess as soon as you can um like I said, some of you, it's addictions to substances or love itself. But here's the thing. You can break free at any time because all of that is really just an illusion. If you see you to the point, those of you that are that lost in this obsession, <coughs> or addiction, <coughs> um, you're already lost in it. It's, it, it's going to leave a bit of a scar and a little bit of a boo-boo, as they say. You'll be a while healing from it, but you can break free at any time. And you know what? I always use the uh, this point this out right here. These are calmer waters. There's the vortex. There's the whirlpools. That these guys are just spinning out of control, and, and they're stuck there, and they're caught there. And here's the calmer waters just outside that. So if they could just pull themselves off to the side a little bit, they'd be free. It's easier than you think it's going to be. That's what the metaphor is there for sure. The advice of this card, it will be easier than you think to end or break an agreement or old habits. Do it. 
Don't let anything dictate who you are. Take back your power. There's the big thing. Take back your power. Your uh, keywords are choices and contracts. Control, power, affairs, restrictions, and addictions. Get it together. This is just for a few of you. Remember that this, this is just a general reading, all right? But here's the thing. You go through that. You come out the other side. You're feeling battle-worn and weary. And then who shows up at the Angel of the Ocean on your Sunday? And she's all about healing. She is all about healing. Um, she's a healer. She's the negotiator. She's the angel of the ocean. For some of us, she has a um, parental, a parental atmosphere about her, and um, she's here to smooth over some things that um, need to be smoothed over in order to keep the peace. So you need the patience of an angel, and you'll need the patience of a saint as well. She's here to tell you to um, look to your guides to show and what lessons have been learned. Show me the way. Remind me of what I need to do here. Remind me of what I don't want to do and don't need to do and what I shouldn't do. You might need to be reminded of that as well. So don't be overwhelmed by others' emotions at, at this time as well or their complaints. Don't let anybody hold you back that way. Um, some of you will be healing from past traumas. And you'll be actually finding the balance between the mind, body, and soul again. So some of you, after coming through, after coming through this, um, you will receive the healing that you're looking for because because your approach, your request of the universe, is sincere enough that the help will come forward. Your guides will be there to help you through that. Um, they will help you through this demanding time and also protect you along the way. But you have to put the work in. There's the thing. The advice is to um, try to work some magic now so you can reconcile any opposites that are in your life. We should always be trying to do that. If we're aware that there are opposites, which means that you're on the outs with a few people, you've had some disagreements, there's some bad energies flowing between you and somebody else. Try to reconcile those things. We should always do that so we keep a good, calm, even balance. We don't need stuff hanging over us, coming back and popping up to haunt us again over and over again. So um, be very patient um, and compassionate with other people. You will you will accomplish that eventually if you're, if you're out of the mind to do so. Remember to have compassion for other people. Keywords are balance, reconciliation, patience, flow, compassion, finance and angels and that my dear dear aquarius was your reading well wasn't that something you know what that felt like 10 minutes to me and it's been 28 minutes i can't run them any shorter than i do unless i cut back on the cards and i really don't want to do that i think the readings uh weekly readings are there's enough limitations with the readings um monthlies are my favorites so i can't wait for the the new month to come around just so I can do the monthly readings again. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please feel free and do so. That would make me very, very happy because I'd like to get to know each and every one of you. Also, I'd like to thank all the subscribers here on YouTube and the subscribers and the members on Facebook under the Facebook group, Bay of Fundy Fortunes. You can find us there and I'm highly visible in that group as well. I'm more than here. I'm only here to do videos, but you'll find me there quite a bit. Day in, day out, seven days a week <coughs> excuse me i know the coughing is really loud so i'm sorry um anyways um yes so uh feel free to join us excuse me feel free to join us in the group you're all welcome um and also you can find bay of funny fortunes on um google on blogspot and on Twitter, and of course here on YouTube as well. And it matters not to me where you watch the videos at, as long as you're comfortable wherever you are. Also, if you like the reading and you find your curiosity has been piqued and you'd like to have a personal specific reading that is made just for you, I do offer that service. Information for that's found down below this video window in the show more section. Please click on it, open it up, grab my email, ship me off an email and I will get you taken care of. <coughs> but for now, I'm going to sign off because I'm just going to cough. <laughs> and um, you can always find me here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes if you're looking for me. Or you can find me walking on the beach down below along the water's edge 
that hold the greatest tides in the world, on the planet, the beautiful, bountiful, the mighty Bay of Funday. And you'll always catch me within the essence of that because I'm a high tide junkie and you can always catch me waiting on the next high tide. But for now, I'd like to wish you all a great week and hope to see you all back here next, next week. For now, it's goodbye and good night. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.